roles of Thailand and ASEAN economic community. The ASEAN Charter has laid down the economic cooperation of ASEAN. The principle consists of, number one, start the ASEAN free trade, which has come into effect since 1993. Number two, define the scope of cooperation in trade and service that has come into effect since 1995. Number three, honor the ASEAN Comprehensive Investment Agreement, which has come into effect since 1998. Thailand's scope of work. Number one, to be a single market and production base. Number two, enhancing the competitive advantage. Number three, economic equity development. Number four, integration into the global economy. Additional notes, FTA. Free trade area is an agreement to trade freely by the removal of customs duties and the limitation of the share quota and privilege on most goods and services trade between two or more countries. Number one, to be a single market and production base focusing on achieving cooperation in various fields as follows. To be a single market and production base, the free movement of goods is to determine shared items without customs, duties, and other barriers. The free movement of skilled labor means professional people are allowed to go to work in any ASEAN countries. The free movement of capital is the implementation of the plan approved by the finance ministers of ASEAN. The free movement of services is to increase the proportion of shares to investors of ASEAN citizenship. The liberalization of investment is to deal with ASEAN investors on an equal par with domestic investors. Number two, enhancing the competitive advantage, which aims to achieve cooperation in various fields as follows. Enhancing the competitive advantage, E ASEAN, Asian economy, competition policy, infrastructure development, NTBs, non-tariff barriers, intellectual property rights, consumer protection. Number three, economic equity development with an emphasis on achieving collaboration in various fields as follows. Economic equity development reducing the development gap between old and new members, supporting the development of SMEs. Number four, integration into the global economy with an emphasis on getting cooperation in various fields as follows. Integration into the global economy, economic policy coordination, establishing a network of production and distribution, Establishing FTA with countries outside the region, ASEAN plus three, China, South Korea, Japan, ASEAN plus six, China, South Korea, Japan, India, Australia, New Zealand, ASEAN plus the European Union, ASEAN plus the US. Thailand, as a member country of ASEAN, must comply with the agreement, which can have advantage and disadvantages as follows. Advantages. Number one, there is more opportunities for Thai labor. Number two, Thai labor can enter ASEAN member countries freely. Number three, create cooperation and promotion in favor of Thai investors. Number four, help develop professional personnel. Additional notes. It is important that Thai labor should develop skills and practice English for communication because the lack of English skills will put them at a disadvantage when signing the employment contract agreement on fringe benefits and employment disputes. Disadvantageous. Number one, there is a competition from member countries. Number two, brain drain. Number three, lacking of skilled labor. Number four, development of some industries that may require the use of machines and employment reduction. Additional notes, 
ASEAN members have made Mutual Recognition Agreement, MRA, to facilitate the recognition process of seven professions as follows. Engineering, Survey, Architecture, Medicine, Dentistry, Nursing, Accountancy. However, the permit to enter and work will still be in compliance with regulations defined by each of the member countries.